Hi guys, if you love granola bar, you must try this recipe. So first we're going to toast 2 cups of rolled oats in the oven for 8 minutes. We just want it to release some of the flavor and also brown a bit. Spread it on a tray and pop it in the oven. After 8 minutes, bring them out, pour them in a bowl, let them cool down a bit. So next we're going to prepare all our seeds. First I'm using pumpkin seeds, some sliced almond, walnuts, also sunflower seeds, some sesame seeds. I'm also using flax seeds and chia seeds. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description box guys so don't forget to check that out. So we're gonna toast this for eight minutes not more than eight minutes. So once it's nice and toasted it releases all the sweet aroma guys you have to toast it first before using it so now i mix the rolled oats and keep that aside so next now we're going to prepare for the binding so half cup of honey i'm going to add about three tablespoons of coconut oil i've seen some recipe using butter but i prefer coconut oil so now we're going to add some salt cinnamon powder two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm also going to use some orange zest. So now let's pour this in a pot and let it uh, melt very slowly on a low heat. Make sure it doesn't boil, so keep an eye on the mixture. Once that's melted, stir and turn up the heat. Before we mix everything up, I'm going to add some dried fruits. This is dried plum called prune. Also, I'm adding dried cranberries. Mix that up, then we can add the liquid to it. Make sure you mix it up very properly. Don't forget to like and share this recipe, guys, and subscribe if you haven't. It helps a lot. I've lined my pan with baking paper, so I'm going to pour the mixture in and spread it evenly. You can also use a, a cup or a bowl with a flat surface to press it down very tightly. Make sure to press it down really well so they don't fall apart after it's baked. Transfer this to the oven, let it bake for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take it out and make sure it cools down completely before you start cutting. Now that our granola bar is cooled, we can cut it in any size we want. This is my third time using this recipe to make granola bar. And I tell you guys, it always comes out beautiful, tastes so nice, everybody loves it. You can have this with milk, you can have it with some tea, even coffee if you like. Thank you guys for watching, please share this recipe to your friends and family and subscribe if you haven't. Bye!